Are you looking for the best build for Yulon? If so, you came to the right place. Welcome to Gamastopia, your go-to source for in-depth gaming insights. And in this video, we'll cover everything from the recommended weapons, artifact set, artifact main stats to those crucial substats, so you can build Yellen optimally. This video will focus solely on Yellen's build and her damage scaling. If you want to know more about her optimal team comp or how her kit works, we covered each of those on a dedicated video. Let's kick things off by charting our course through the stat roadmap. Yellen's elemental burst is the core of her DPS, whether you're running her as support or your main attacker. Unlike other characters, her elemental skill and burst scales exclusively with her HP stat, making energy recharge and HP crucial in her build. Here's a quick overview of the stats you want to aim for Yelan. The recommended ER varies depending on your team comp and Yelan's role in your team. If Yelan is your sole Hydra support, aim for a minimum of 180% ER and around 220% for faster energy generation. If you're running double Hydro in your team or running her as DPS, 150% to 180% should be the sweet spot so you can cast her burst reliably. To enhance Yellen's elemental skill, burst, and barb breakthrough damage, aim for an HP range of 25k to 40k. Generally, raising your critical rate and critical damage stat as much as possible is better. However, note that critical damage doesn't significantly surpass HP-based damage scaling. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful so far, kindly consider giving it a thumbs up to support the channel. Thank you so much. For Yelan in a support role, prioritize her elemental burst, followed by her elemental skill and normal attack. I recommend maxing her elemental burst for optimal usage as it's her primary contribution to your team. Her elemental skill can deal significant damage, so maxing it will also be worthwhile. However, leaving it at level 9 is fine if you don't have enough Crown of Insights. Her normal attack can suffice at levels 1 to 6 for support purposes. But if you have her at Constellation 6, the priority shifts to normal attack over elemental burst and elemental skill. Maximize both normal attack and burst for optimal damage during the C6 effect. Maxing elemental skill benefits DPS, but leaving it at level 9 only reduces damage output by around 5% to 6% per cooldown. Given that Yelan's skill relies solely on her HP for scaling, the base attack enhancement of weapons is not crucial when building her as a support. This makes 3-star weapons viable and sometimes superior to some 4- or 5-star options. Among the 3-star bow choices, the Recurve Bow stands out. It offers a substantial 46.90% HP boost at max enhancement, significantly amplifying her elemental skill and burst damage. When focusing on elemental burst damage, it rivals or even surpasses many 4-star or 5-star options, closely following Aqua Simulacra, Thundering Pulse, and Stringless at R5. Another favorable pick is the Slingshot, granting a 31.2% critical rate at level 90 enhancement, slightly edging out the Viridescent Hunt from the Battle Pass. Lastly, consider the Sharpshooter's Oath, providing a 46.9% critical damage increase at level 90, slightly surpassing the 4-star option Blackcliff Warbo. For the 4-star weapons, the Favonius Warbo is your best option. At level 90 enhancement, it offers an impressive 61.3% energy recharge and refills elemental orbs with critical hits. Other commendable options include the Sacrificial Bow, End of the Line, and Fading Twilight. Though the Sacrificial Bow only provides 30.6% ER at max enhancement, it boasts a high chance to reset your elemental skill cooldown at refinement level 5. You can generate 8 Hydro Elemental Particles quickly and fairly consistently, allowing you to get your elemental burst up at a high rate if you know how to manage energy. And if Yelin's first constellation is unlocked, the weapon's effect could trigger up to 12 Hydro Particles, further enhancing its potential. Check out our Energy Recharge Guide if you want to get some tips on energy generation. Another viable ER weapon is the End of the Line, 
offering a 45.9% energy recharge and inflicting additional damage following elemental skill usage. But it won't be very significant as it will be based on the attack stat. You can also consider the Fading Twilight as a last resort option. It offers 30.6% ER and boosts elemental burst damage through a unique effect that remains active even if Yellen is off the field. The Stringless is an excellent option if you can meet the recommended energy recharge through substats and artifact primary stats. In terms of damage output, it surpasses numerous 4-star and even some 5-star alternatives. Looking strictly at the elemental skill and burst damage, it only trails behind Aqua Simulacra and Thundering Pulse at Refinement 5. Furthermore, in Taser, Bloom, or Vaporize teams, it excels by significantly boosting elemental reaction damage. The Blackcliff Warbow is another good option, offering up to 36.8% critical damage. However, its weapon effect isn't beneficial for Yellen, and the three-star Sharpshooter's Oath is still better at boosting the critical damage stat. Lastly, the Viridescent Hunt offers a 27.6% crit rate boost and deals extra damage upon hitting opponents. But looking at the critical rate stat alone, the Slingshot is a slightly better option. For the 5-star option, her best in slot is either the Elegy for the End or the Aqua Simulacra. Aqua Simulacra offers Yellen the highest damage potential, particularly at Constellation 6. It is a great choice, providing up to an 88.2% critical damage boost along with bonus effects of increased HP and sustained additional damage even when off the field. Just ensure you have enough energy recharge stat so you won't run into energy problems activating her burst. On the other hand, the Elegy for the End is Yellen's best option if you're running her as support. It gives up to 55.1% energy recharge, allowing you the flexibility to use HP main stats for your artifacts. Moreover, it grants the entire party an attack and elemental mastery buff upon triggering the weapon's effect. In short, it fits perfectly with Yellen's support playstyle. The Thundering Pulse Bow offers the second highest damage potential, following closely behind Aqua Simulacra. While its additional weapon effect doesn't directly enhance her skill and burst damage, the critical damage stat is pretty significant. Other excellent choices include the Skyward Harp, Hunter's Path, and the Polar Star for boosting critical rate. Yellen can capitalize on the Skyward Harp's 22.1% crit rate main stat enhancement and crit damage boost via its weapon effect. Hunter's Path notably offers the most substantial critical rate increase for Yellen, and she benefits from its elemental damage bonus from the special weapon effect. However, the additional boost in charged attack damage based on her elemental mastery may not be highly significant unless partnered with characters that can buff up EM. Examples of those characters are Kazuha at Constellation 2, Diana at Constellation 6, or Sucrose. Check out our Yelan Team Comp video to know more about the best characters that work with her kit. The Polar Star falls between Hunter's Path and Skyward Harp, elevating her crit rate by up to 33.1%. Yelan can leverage its weapon effect, particularly for her elemental skill and burst damage amplification. When building Yelan as a burst support, the optimal choice for your artifact set is the four-piece emblem of Severed Fate. This set excels at improving your ER stat while also enhancing the exquisite throw damage from Yellen's elemental burst. Considering only artifact effects and burst damage boost, it boasts the highest damage potential compared to any other set combination. Pairing the Nobles Oblige artifact with either Tenacity of the Millilith or Vorukasha's Glow presents a viable alternative. Although there's a slight decrease of around 4-5% in exquisite throw damage, you'll gain a significant 10% boost to your elemental skill damage. Another option is utilizing the double HP artifact setup with the Millilith and Vurukasha set. Comparatively, this combination nearly matches the Millilith slash Nobles combo in terms of exquisite throw damage. But you'll gain about 18% increase in elemental skill damage. All substats being equal. This set combination will give you the most significant boost for the elemental skill damage while maintaining pretty good damage for each hit of exquisite throw. 
The four-piece Noblesse Oblige set excels at enhancing your party member's DPS and bolstering the team's overall performance. However, this buff won't amplify Yellen's elemental skill or burst damage. In terms of exquisite throw damage, it falls approximately 9% behind the two-piece alternatives. The four-piece Verukasha's Glow can serve as a viable alternative and potentially surpass the emblem set when its five-stack effect is activated. However, getting to five stacks is pretty hard unless you face monsters that apply the decaying status like in Spiral Abyss. Admittedly, this is rather niched and lacks versatility. Other noteworthy options include combining Nymph Stream or Heart of Depth with Millilith or Vurukasha. You can also pair Heart of Depth or Nymph Stream with the Noblesse Oblige two-piece artifact set. Alternatively, consider Heart of Depth along with Nymph Stream to achieve a 30% Hydro Damage bonus. These last three suggestions are slightly inferior to the rest, except for the four-piece Noblesse Oblige set. But they are not that bad and are still a viable option while you're farming for better artifacts. Here's a quick chart to help you visualize the comparison of all these options. When focusing on main DPS Yalan, the optimal choice is the four-piece Heart of Depth set. Its effect is easily triggered and notably enhances your breakthrough barb damage, particularly advantageous if you've unlocked her C6 constellation. Alternatively, consider combining the two-piece Nymph's Dream or Heart of Depth with the two-piece Millilith or Verukasha set. While this option is approximately 7-8% to less potent than the four-piece Heart of Depth set with its active effect, favorable substats can mitigate the difference. The two-piece Millilith and two-piece Verukasha's Glow combination is also effective, with a relatively minor difference in damage output. Another viable option is the two-piece Nymph's Dream and Heart of Depth combination, which boosts 30% Hydro damage. Although it falls slightly behind the Millilith and Verukasha combination, it can serve as a temporary choice while you farm for better rolls on artifacts. The upcoming Marikasi Hunter Artifact presents another viable option, enhancing your character's normal and charged attacks by 15%. Here's another chart to compare these artifact combinations. For users of an energy recharge weapon like the Favonius Warbo or Elegy for the End, I recommend opting for HP Sands. Conversely, if your weapon's main stat is critical rate, critical damage, or HP and you're unable to achieve adequate energy recharge through substats, an ER Sands would be the better choice. Again, this depends on your team composition. Remember that focusing excessively on damage enhancement might prove ineffective if Yelin's burst activation isn't consistent, particularly when using her as a support. Opting for a Hydro Damage main stat on the Goblet is optimal. However, an HP Goblet can also be effective depending on your build. For the circlet, opt for either critical rate or critical damage main stat based on your needs. As a general guideline, aim for a critical rate to critical damage ratio of 2 to 1. However, in Yellen's case, selecting an HP circlet won't result in significant damage disparity compared to choosing the critical damage main stats. But avoid allocating excessive HP as it can yield diminishing effects. Ideally, you want to get energy recharge, HP percent, critical rate, or critical damage for your substats. Ensure you prioritize sufficient energy recharge to trigger Yilan's elemental burst consistently. However, if you're equipped with an energy recharge weapon or ER Sands, you may not require energy recharge from artifact substats that much. As mentioned earlier, Around 150 to 180 ER should suffice if you have two Hydro characters in your team. And if you're utilizing a single Hydro character, at least 180% preferably even higher is recommended. Next, prioritize acquiring as much critical rate and critical damage as possible. You can get enough HP boost from weapons or artifact main stats, but rolling those stats is not bad either. But since everything is upgraded randomly, you can only pray to the RNG gods that you get your preferred substats. And there you have it. If you found this video valuable, a quick tap on the like and subscribe button would mean a lot. And if you want to know more about Yelon, check out this video next.